Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred on Outside the Lane. We've just lost 1-0 to Crystal Palace in the FA Cup. Um, just done the fan camp, spoken to a lot of fans. It's a bizarre feeling, uh, which kind of jumps on the back of some of the conversations we've been having on the channel. I'm sure all you fans have been having in the pub recently as to are we, have we got too many games to have a chance of winning the league. And now we're out of the cup. A lot of fans came and spoke to us and said, you know, I'm not devastated about it. Some fans, though, and I kind of agree with this, are slightly disappointed with the performance today. Second half especially, we started playing in a way that wasn't like us. Um, just long diagonal balls uh, when they weren't quite necessary or it wasn't on. And uh, I could tell the fans were getting, getting a bit wound up about it. Anyway, look, the thing for me is when you don't play... You know, I think it's fair to say when it comes to Swansea at home in the in the league in two matches time, we'll pretty much know what team's going to be selected. And in these cups, Poch is rightly rotating the squad. And, you know, first half against Fiorentina the other day, we played really well. And then second half, we didn't play quite so well. Same thing happened today. We hit the uh, the post three times in the first half. Deli Ali, the most unlucky man on the planet, surely. Uh, the, the second one where he, he hit the it hit both posts. Uh, when he tried to curl it into the far corner. I think Wayne Hennessy might have got a touch, I don't know. But anyway, very unlucky first half. I think if one of those goals goes in, one of those shots goes in, it's a different game. Palace have to come at us, they can't sit so deep, and then chances arrive on the counter-attack. And I actually think if one of those had gone in, we probably would be in the quarterfinals of the Cup now because we were set up with Josh Onoma uh, and Harry Kane playing to be able to hit them on the break. But it just became a very scrappy game today, uh, which really suited Crystal Palace, I think. They did play well. Defensively, they are a good team. When they came here in the league and won, and we won 1-0, they played well that day and we just snuck it. I think we scored 65th minute through Hung Min Son. And sometimes in games like that, where you play kind of more of a squad team and they play their first team, especially in the cup, they've got 7, 5 or 7,000 fans here. You know, they really wanted it. They were really up for it. You could tell from Pardew on the sidelines, he was totally in the game the whole time. The, the ambulance is now here to take me away because I'm just so tired from shouting today. But look, more importantly, we can't complain as far as I'm concerned. Uh, we've had a few people who've come and spoken to us today who've tried to be really negative, and I'm just not, not going to publish that because as far as I'm concerned, what a season we're having. What a time to be a Spurs fan. I'm not going to accept that anything bad is happening this season. We, we know that our first team and our fifth, the 15 players, 16 players who tend to get rotated for most of the league games have had unbelievable seasons. We've got some players in our team at the moment, the likes of which I haven't seen at Spurs for a long time, especially in terms of you know, how they've developed quickly. Obviously, we had, your, we had Gareth Bale, we had Luka Modric, but now we've got Deli Alley, young English absolute talent. Harry Kane, young English absolute talent. So I'm not going to be negative about this. Palace deserved their win in a way. I think they wanted it a bit more. Uh, we didn't play that well. And now, you know, we'll get a week off next time in the quarterfinals, when the quarterfinals of the FA Cup happen, we'll get a week off, get to rest the players. It is important to me that we go out and beat Fiorentina on Thursday. I don't want this to come into a run because we've obviously drawn against Fiorentina and now we've lost this game. We don't want it to become a momentum uh, shifter where before the Swansea game and make that a really nervous game. So let's go out there Thursday night, put that game to bed nice and early. Let's not forget Fiorentina are a good side, but I think we've got what it takes. We're a better team than we were last year when they beat us. And I think if we get a nice early goal in that game, ideally two or three early goals, then we can go into the next round of the Europa League and just make it a two-way, a two, I don't know, something's just fallen off the ambulance there. It's all getting a bit weird around here. But anyway, more importantly, let's just go and win that game, like I said, then head on to the Swansea game, get three points in that and keep our league challenge going. Second in the league, everyone, no negativity. Come on, it's a great time to be a Spurs fan. Let, you know, let me know what you thought of that match review in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at TV. Come on, you Spurs.